in the car, car side boxing talk, because it's raining outside, so you know you got to adapt, you know what I'm saying, like the Mayweather, you got to adapt when it's raining outside, and have your box talk inside, so this is car talk slash box talk, and we talking keys to victory, so we all know Deontay Wilder, one of the greatest heavyweight champions to ever live, that's right, I'm saying, I'm putting them in the Hall of Fame right now, before they even do it, so that way I can already ha have my I told you so's. Um, I'm gonna go out on the limb here. I, I think the man is gonna break Mayweather's record. I think Deontay is going past 50 and though, and he's gonna do something. He's already doing what most heavyweights have never done. You know, I think he got like a 98, 99% chance of knocking you out, which is ridiculous, right. you know. And so now, here it is, the fight that almost dethroned him. Mm -hmm. He said, run it back. That's serious business, you know deal. what I'm saying? Like, we don't get fighters like that no more. That's why we all got to really respect and what we see in the Wilder. Now, I know, I always get, Wilder doesn't swing right. He's wild with it. His name is Wilder. Stop playing. Of course, what's wrong with Wilder? What's wrong with going wild? Because what we forgetting is, what we watching comes from the ancient old art of kick-ass fighting. So to be in the art of fighting, you don't have to be a boxer. I think we got kind of spoiled. We like those rich, bougie people. You're getting spoiled with all these good boxes, but you're forgetting it's still a fight, and it's, to, it's, it's made the best fighter win. Deontay may not be the best boxer, but he is the best fighter on this planet. You know what I'm saying? Striking. So... Let's get to it. He's retake. He's taking on the man that almost dethroned him. And in that fight, we seen what we really were seeing in the first Ortiz and Wilder fight was skill versus, you know, uh, uh, gifts. Because what Deontay has is a gift. And uh, we all know um, my boy King Kong is skilled out. He knows what he's doing. He is the boxer. Cuban. He's from the Cuban team. We all know that Cubans put in some of the best work when it comes to building fighters. And what happened? He fought a good fight, almost dethroned um, uh, uh, my boy, but he ended up drooling on himself looking Very silly. Finished. Looking silly. And I'm not putting him down. All I'm saying is we watched what happened when the boxer met the fighter. Mm. See, if the boxer only had four rounds, he could win. But where the boxer gets in trouble is that if it goes 12 rounds, the fighter could win, you know, because over the over the span, and that's what we see over the span. Deontay pulled out the king, the, pulled out the real King Kong, and bust him over the head with it, and left the other King Kong on the ground drooling with himself. So now they're running the back, and one of the best things I heard Deontay say is he's running the back because no one wants to fight, fight Luis Ortiz. He has a special needs daughter. He has a special needs daughter, Respect. and he want him to get the bag. Respect, man. I got it. Come on now. Come on now. Who talking like that? We ain't seen that talk since Sugar Ray Robinson and them helping men get paychecks. Stop playing. Stop playing. You know, and I don't want to hear all this talk about, or, you know, uh, my man Wilder's a dirty fighter. Yeah, he slaps with his fight, with his punches, but he is a fighter, y'all. You've seen them hood, man. You've seen them, them joints with niggas slapping with their joints. They fighting. That's where Wilder Scrap. comes from. They scrapping. And we can't take it away because he scrapped his way up to a 98% chance of knocking your ass out. That takes another. <laughs> so let's stop playing with my man Wilder. So in the round, so the keys to success for Ortiz is to do what he did in the first fight just earlier. Don't wait till the second, sixth round, seventh round. From the first round, jump on uh, Wilder and give him no room. You have to fight Wilder close. He's strong though, but you want him flinging you around and doing all that crazy stuff because he's he's running through energy and we all know Wilder hits the wall. And when he hits the wall, we see he get real drunk looking. So Ortiz needs to jump on him with the bing, 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 bringing that skill, you know, them turning them punches over to, and from round one. And he has a good chance of upsetting Wilder. What Wilder needs to do is to do exactly what he did <laughs> the first fight. Earlier. Earlier. <laughs> Finish him. Bring them bombs out. And 
and, and when you already close the curtains on the man the first time, it's real easy the second time. You know what they say about breaking the ice, you know, the first time you meet a person, you, got, you know, and then after that it's smooth sailing. The same thing with knocking a man out. Once you knock him out the first time, the second time pretty easy. Your confidence is up here somewhere. And and if he went to the darkness, his confidence is down here somewhere. No matter how much he tried to fight, he know you got clubber lane all up in them arms. And so I, I believe the second fight goes to Wilder for momentum and for karma because he's giving the man a fight to give him the bag. I think I, I think I think Ortiz needs to lay down. I think if there's any fight that needs a fix, it needs to be this one. I think Ortiz needs to give a good fight, take one of them color lanes, lay down and go <laughs> to check go night, night. and get out the way. And let my man go beat up on Tyson Fury. So here it is. That there it is in the long winded way. I had to say a lot about Deontay Wilder because I think not of not enough people talk about him like they talk about like they talked about Ali, the Marciano, the Mike Tysons. I get it, but there's someone new on the